What is going on, Ada Nation? Welcome to DAP Central. My name is Fareed, breaking down all of the latest news highlights and updates going on in Cardano. As a part of today's video, I've got some exciting news for the Charlie 3 or the C3 platform, as well as C3 token holders. Given the fact that we have just seen the release of a one way bridge bridging over from Ethereum or from the ERC20 version of the C3 token over into Cardano via a collaboration with drip drops so what i want to do today is briefly touch on the hack but then mainly focus on exactly how you within the c3 community can move your assets from the ethereum network if you're impacted by the nomad bridge hack over into cardano in order to secure and restore the value of your assets as always if you guys do enjoy updates like these i would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up if it's your first time stopping by dap central and you want more content like this consider subscribing and last but not least if you have any questions for myself surrounding c3 or any other builders on cardano then make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below so as it stands right now, the C3 bridge is finally alive. As I mentioned earlier, there was some unfortunate news that took place. I want to say this was around the September timeline of 2022. Now, we had the Nomad Bridge, which was basically a bridge between Cardano and Ethereum. And we actually saw a couple of projects, including Wing Riders and Iagon, as well as, of course, C3, that were all impacted by the exploit, which was taken advantage of between this bridge. So I want to quickly just start off with the fact that the Nomad Bridge hack saw more than $100 million of lock funds, which were drained. Again, this took place on August 1st of 2022, so a little bit over a year ago, but the C3 team has not forgotten about this, and they're doing what they can in order to make this situation right. Now, I'll go ahead and leave the link to this particular Medium article down below. Again, this is just briefly touching on the fact that the bridge hack occurred. This is not the main focus of today's video. I really want to jump into the news that came in from C3. So this was released yesterday. And so let's go ahead and just break this down exactly what the team has done. And then step by step, how you and the community can go ahead and reclaim your C3 on Cardano. So it states here, it's been a long road since the contracted Nomad Bridge hack was hacked, disrupting our total supply and fracturing our community, leaving many with tokens stranded on the ERC-20 networks. This had a huge impact, and I want to just quickly highlight the fact that Damon and the rest of the C3 team have put this to the forefront, given how many people had continuously asked them about when they'd have the ability to find make this migration over of course i could only imagine the division of this sort of cause within discord telegram and just across all the different platforms that c3 and the other projects that were also impacted has really caused now the team has worked diligently for the last five months in their spare time building this new custom one-way bridge to bring ethereum 20 tokens or erc 20 tokens over into cardano that is going to be the key piece there this is a one-way bridge so if you hold tokens on Cardano or you hold C3 on Cardano, there is no way and I don't think the team is planning to provide a way, right, to bring those assets back over into Ethereum because, again, the issue happened on the ERC-20 networks and those tokens have no value. What they're aiming to do is build this one-way bridge to move assets from Ethereum over into Cardano. So I want to be extremely clear in stating that this is a one-way bridge. Now, some of the features and some of the stipulations surrounding who's actually eligible to move their assets over into Cardano utilizing this bridge are as follows. So this bridge will only allow the ERC-20 wallet addresses and C3 tokens held before the Nomad Bridge hack on August 1st of 2022. So if you have a wallet which holds C3, but that wasn't associated with holding that C3 before August 1st, you will not be able to migrate from that particular wallet. Now, if you hold C3 tokens that were added to a wallet that is valid, however, those tokens are moved over into that wallet after the hack, again, those will not be eligible to be moved. You have to have the original wallet, which stored your C3 tokens that were in your wallet before the hack that took place on August 1st of 2022. Now, this wallet whitelist is taken from a chain snapshot from the morning of August 1st of 2022. Again, before any of the actual hack or funds that were taken from the ERC version of the Nomad Bridge had actually occurred. 
Now, no tokens gained after August 1st of 2022 will be honored. I just mentioned that. And no tokens in other wallets outside of the whitelist will also be honored, which I just talked about as well. Very lastly, we did have a platform called ADAX, which was building on Cardano, which uh, essentially rugged or disappeared and just stopped building. And it stated that no tokens from ADAX will also be honored. So that is unfortunate, but the team is being upfront with what is and what is not supported. Very lastly, and probably the most important piece here, is the fact that the bridge will only be live for three months or up until April 5th of 2024. I just released another video surrounding AXO and the fact that they had recently closed their ISPO claiming vault. And a few members had basically highlighted the fact that they missed out on that particular piece of news. So that's why I'm trying to get this video out as soon as possible in order to spread the news, because again, you only have a short window in order to reclaim what is rightfully yours in the C3 tokens. Now, moving down into the actual bridging tutorial, first and foremost, do not do this on a mobile. You only have one particular shot to get this right. And if you happen to make a mistake or not follow the rules, you could potentially end up not being able to claim the full value of your C3 tokens. So the bridge will be available at bridge.charlie3.io. I'll go ahead and leave the link to that down below as a part of today's video description. It states here, again, use a desktop browser. And if you don't have MetaMask, which is arguably the biggest wallet right now on Ethereum or ERC-20 compatible networks, you will need to transfer your ERC-20 wallet or tokens into a MetaMask account. So that is the first thing you need to go ahead and do, which is utilize something like MetaMask. Number two, you're going to have to burn your token. So once you connect your wallet, your MetaMask to the bridge, right, which I just noted above, you're going to be able to see the total allowed amount, right, which will be included to burn or in the burn transaction taking place on Ethereum. Now it states here, this will burn all tokens in your wallet, no matter what you are whitelisted for. So if you hold more C3 than you're whitelisted for, it will still burn all of those tokens. So again, be very, very careful in how you maneuver and before you actually agree to signing any transactions. Now it also states this is a one-time all or nothing process. You cannot migrate half of your bag right now and then come back a month from then and then try to migrate the second half. Again, because it's going to be burning all tokens, you need to make sure that the full amount that you hold that can be transferred is within the wallet the first time that you go ahead and try to bridge. Scrolling down, once you confirm the burn transaction, you're going to wait for that to complete. Once that completes, you're going to have to reconnect your wallet, your MetaMask, back over into the bridge again. Now, once you do that, there should be a transaction hash that's automatically generated. If not, you can look it up on Etherscan and then manually input it back into the bridge. Now, once you do that, the next thing you have to do is go ahead and actually add your Cardano address, which is going to be the address on Cardano that is going to be associated with Drip Drops, which is going to be the platform that C3 or Charlie 3 has partnered up with in order to allow redemptions or claims of assets that have moved over. So once you go ahead and provide the Cardano address and the transaction hash, you can then sign the final MetaMask message. Now, what this signature is going to be doing is inputting the transaction into the Charlie 3 API list in order to basically have your claim um, be verified on the Cardano side of things. Now, once you sign that transaction and you're approved, you can now head over to Drip Drops in order to claim your C3, which has now been burned on the ERC20 network. Now, when you jump over to Drip Drops, it's pretty Pretty straightforward you can make an account and put your cardano address into their um, check form once you go ahead and actually click check my drops it should automatically recognize that you now have an allocation of c3 on cardano to claim so definitely be careful in making sure that you're providing the right address on the bridge in order to actually use that same address on cardano in order to claim via drip drops now once you go ahead and view or click the check my claims you should see c3 tokens and then from there you can go ahead and actually claim those assets a couple of things to keep in mind reward addresses are going to be processed every 10 minutes so if you make the transaction or if you complete the bridge you want to wait a couple of minutes in order for that to be picked up and processed and for the those tokens to be allocated via drip drops on Cardano. 
last but definitely not least, anything over $500 in terms of the value of C3 will require KYC on drip drops before actually being able to claim those tokens. So if you hold a relatively large bag of C3 tokens on ERC20 networks and you migrate that over, you will have to undergo KYC if that is worth more than 500 bucks. After that, you are done and you're now able to utilize your C3 tokens, which have now regained their value back over on Cardano. I wanna quickly highlight their Discord. If you guys have any questions, comments, thoughts, issues, you know, or concerns, jump into their Discord. I know that the team is relatively active and aware um, just when it comes to staying in touch with their community. So jump in there if you need any help or if you have any questions about the actual bridging process itself. Now, the very last thing that you can do, which is um, something that is up to you, right? You don't have to do this, but you can go ahead and actually stake your C3 tokens on Vi Finance to earn additional C3 rewards. So keep that in mind. The C3 team has partnered up with ViFi or Vi Finance, and they now have a C3 vault there as well. So if I quickly click on this link here, let's see exactly how much of the vault is still open. So you can earn, let me just refresh this page here. You can earn an APR of 6.38%. Keep in mind that that's broken down over the course of a year. And let's see here, the TVL that is currently logged in terms of ADA value is over 267,000 ADA. In terms of the maximum payout, there's going to be a total of 153,000 C3 tokens that will be paid out. And there's going to be a minor harvest fee of 3.5 ADA. So it looks like right now the vault is 87% full for anybody who has recently migrated or maybe just a long time holder of C3 and just maybe were not aware of this opportunity. Definitely go ahead and make sure to check it out. Obviously, um, do due diligence, understand that you are locking up your assets for a certain amount of time, but the opportunity is here nonetheless. So that will do it here for today's video. Want to quickly touch on Charlie 3 and everything that the team has done to make their community whole. I hope you guys found this particular update to be helpful. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and smash that thumbs up. It really does make a difference here. It helps me out on the channel and lets you develop the algorithm know that I'm doing a good job. Now, if you guys want more content like this surrounding Cardano and all the projects building on it, then make sure to go ahead and subscribe to DAP Central. And last but not least, if you have any questions for myself or the C3 team, then make sure to go ahead and leave them down below as a part of today's comment section. That will do it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.